Okay, guys, somehow this video got um, misplaced, so I'm going to re-record real quick. Reproduction of frogs, similar to fish, we have internal and external fertilization. Remember that oviparous is external, so basically the mother or the female frog is going to lay eggs, and they're going to get fertilized outside of her body, and the yolk is going to provide nourishments for the embryo. The female egg is called an ovary. And so the, the female frog lays the ovary and the male frog through his testicle, testicles will basically produce the sperm to fertilize the egg. And those things come out of the frog's cloaca. So the egg is produced in the ovaries, comes out of the cloaca, testicle produces the sperm, which comes out of the cloaca. And in oviparous, all of this happens outside of the frog. Oviviparous the male frog will fertilize the egg inside of the female the mother will lay eggs right after and the yolk will provide the nourishment if you're uh, going to review the nervous system remember that all you have to know for this test is major structures so we want to know that it's spinal curve cord surrounded by the, all the nerves and the brain remember that the spinal cord and the nerves come from the dorsal hollow nerve cord which forms the central nervous system along with the brain. Digestive system, so similar to the fish, we have the mouth, esophagus, stomach, intestine. Um, you wanna know that after it travels through these, it's gonna exit through the cloaca and out the anus. So the cloaca for a frog is responsible for um, reproduction, it's responsible for digestion, and it's responsible for excretion too. So you wanna keep that in mind that that's a major structure for most of the amphibians' uh, systems. Um, but you have to know the major organs with each. And then lastly is the circulatory system, which you want to remember that frogs have a three-chambered heart and that blood is circulated through the circulatory system. And then later we'll get more advanced and learn about the veins and the arteries and capillaries and things of that nature.